Hello Libra, happy birthday. This is your birthday month and we're looking at your forecast here for October 2017. As you can see, I'm on audio only this month. Hope that works for you. I am traveling so it's much more convenient that way, but uh, it's not me on the camera that's important. It's the message that now reaches you for what is coming up this month. And let me tell you though, there's only m two major uh, windows that are really open and active here this month for you. The first one is the first house, which is you, your personality, the things that you want to radiate and shine, and also the 12th house for what's working behind the veils for you, okay, spiritually, creatively. And so the other planets are only your outer planets. They're kind of like the backdrop of what is going on. And uh, they're not doing too, too much, but we have a couple of aspects that, of course, that are going to trigger your personal planets. But let's just start off here with Mercury, the Sun, the New Moon, and Jupiter. Uh, the four of them, they're transiting your first house. That is your personality. When we have Mercury there, it's all about communication. You're really going to be the it person to communicate what is important to you. we got to remember that the first house is ruled by Aries, which is ruled by Mars. So you're Marsy, you're feisty and fiery this month to really bring out to the world. And we gotta recall that the first house is the ascendance, your rising sign. So this is how you're projecting yourself out to others uh, as somebody who's communicating and uh, taking on new charge, new direction, as far as what is important to you and what it is it is that you want. The sun, eight degrees as we start off in October. Uh, that is you, of course, and uh, it being in your first house, it's always very beautiful because the sun, as it radiates, it's radiating through the sign of Libra, your sign, which is ruled by Venus. So you're coming across very charming. You always are, but especially now when the sun and Mercury is here, later in the month, we will have Venus join, which is your ruler, coming in crossing your rising sign into that first house, more charm is going to come forward. So this is a really special month for you. Uh, we have that new moon not taking place before the 19th, though. But let me tell you, we have a very, very special new moon. Uh, it being in your first house is you initiating new beginnings. And this new moon, Libra, is conjunct no one less than Jupiter, right? I mean, you have a new moon here once every year, which is great. You get to establish, you know, those intentions that you set out for yourself. But it's only one, once every 12 years that Jupiter will be here to accompany it. So this is a very, very special new moon. Jupiter, when it kisses upon this new moon, Jupiter is abundant. It's generous, right? So this is a day that you really want to pay attention to. I'll come back to the date when that's going to take place a little bit later on in the reading but this is when you can really come to see that you can start expanding whatever it is you're wanting now to promote or bring to light then we have venus and mars they're hand in hand as we start off the month venus is all about love it is your ruler it's traveling here uh, very closely only three degrees away from mars and uh, the two of them will meet up once a year for a few days and uh, this is the time when they will do so it being in the year 12th house well that's our subconsciousness or our higher consciousness it's that spiritual part of ourselves and they're kind of working towards something that's creative think about the 12th house being ruled by pisces which is ruled by neptune so it's our higher thought processing. It's those things that we long and yearn for, the things that we would like to express. And I feel, you know, this was taking place pretty much in September too. Um, and uh, so you're bringing that onwards into October and you're preparing actually uh, to start up something when these two will move into your first house, which they will do later in the month. You have until October 15th to kind of dream up a storm, whatever it is you're now planning. Uh, on the 15th, Venus will join the crowd into your first house. Same thing goes for Mars a little bit later on October 23rd. That is when you're definitely going to be that much more Marsy, right? Bringing out the things that you're planning here early month. So we can see that the first house 
your personality is really going to shine and radiate. Very important month for you, uh, Libra, and I'm super excited to see the results of what it is you're going to do, uh, because as we start off the month, this Venus and Mars, which is now traveling together, is uh, holding hand in hand, but also bringing in this uh, golden beam from Pluto, which is all about transformation, okay? Pluto being in your fourth house has to do with the foundation of your life, uh, family and so forth and uh, the transformation taking place is coming in with love it's coming in with desire it's coming in with passion it's whatever you're choosing to make of this you will see how um, the first week the first short week should I say from the first until the seventh is really going to take on shape and form for you I feel that it's something that you might have been sensing for a while but has been really acted upon. But here this month, you're going to see it take on shape and form. When Venus and Mars runs through the sign of Virgo as they are, what does that really mean? You know, it's like they move through all the signs of the zodiac and it picks up different filters upon which they act. When they're in Virgo, we've got to think about Virgo loving to be precise. They're perfectionists, right? They're detail oriented, even to the point where not only are they uh, really great people to be uh, analytical and line things up, but maybe to the point where they can be, become over uh, analytical and maybe then also worry. But I'm not really seeing the worrying aspects here for you. I think it's more, since they are so beautifully aligned there with Pluto, it's more where you're seeing the details um, very closely in your mind of how you can perfect what it is you're trying to transform in your home environment. So uh, that can have to do with renewal. It can have to do with upgrading, bringing something artistic into the foundation of your life. Mars putting the action of wanting to complete and get these things done. Loving that. Now we have the new moon in uh, Libra in your sign and uh, with a kiss to Jupiter. Like I said, wow, you know, you really want to circle that new moon date, which is going to be October 19th. Those of you who have your birthday on the 19th, you really have it made with this new moon and Jupiter on your birthday. Uh, it's going to really signal a beautiful cycle for you with a lot of joy, happiness, generosity, and so forth. And the new moon, which is 12 degrees in Aries taking place October 5th is in your seventh house. So that has to do with your relationships, okay? Your partner, whether this be your significant other, it could be anybody that you work closely with one-on-one -on -one where you see as a partner. Well, that's where this full moon is going to take on center stage, okay? And become illuminated. Um, so I feel, you know, since it's an airy moon, uh, it could be something that's quite vital, energetic, and so forth. And uh, also maybe even bring a conclusion of some uh, previous aspect of initiation. Okay, so you can see the results of that there. But when we start off the first short week of October, I feel this is when you know, you're really going to put the pedal to the metal. I see you being busy, active, and really successful in whatever it is you're doing. If you recall what I said initially in the beginning of the reading, we only got two areas uh, in your chart that is active this month. That is what you're planning and it is what you're projecting at the 12th and the first house. So that first short week, you're busy, you're active, you're passionate, you're doing, you're communicating, you're getting everything set up the way you want it. And then from the second week, say between the 8th, and the 15th, there's going to be um, more, I'd like to feel, a testing where we're being tested from the universe. Um, and it has to do with the way we come across uh, as far as thinking or speaking. It's our communication uh, that might be tested and uh, needing probably to stand our grounds as both Mercury, the Sun, Venus and Mars will be going through a questioning period. And this can come from the outer world, okay, the external world. First, we have Venus and Saturn. Uh, and this would be pretty much uh, communication with a service person or somebody who you might feel in charge. That could be a supervisor, could be a boss. Uh, it could be a service person that's needing to come and do some work for you, perhaps. 
and there could be money involved where one's communicating a little bit about uh, what you value or how you want a certain specific thing done uh, or the costs, the estimates of it. Um, so there's a little bit of a challenge there and uh, bringing you through the ninth when both the Sun and Mercury both are squaring off on Pluto. So I feel it's a home related project that this is. It could be um, either a project of something you're trying to create or it could even be something with parents for some of you um, and, and costs and so forth, estimates. and. Uh, on the 11th, Mars is going to be squaring off on uh, Saturn, just like Venus was doing on the 8th. This is on the 11th. So we can see we have a, a few days there where we're really trying to get things straight. Probably also, I'd like to say, um, there would be a compromise coming from it, but that might not resolve itself probably before around the 15th or so. Then I feel there's more of this seeing it from both ends uh, and finalizing, getting all loose ends tied up. So between the 8th to the 15th, we got a whole week there where I see that you're working through on a specific project. Could be home or family related, parents and so forth. Um, from the 16th, however, then I feel you're feeling pretty good with what you have achieved. You've stand and stood the test, right? Uh, so you're standing proud. Uh, Saturn in your third house really allows you to come across, you know, and I think you're feeling good about having not just the knack and the know-how, but more so the maturity of your essence come forward in the way that you speak. So people really take your word that you're, you're not to be messed with, okay? <laughs> no messing around here uh, because you will actually give good grounds for why you mean uh, and why your intentions are the way they are. So you, you really paint a good picture there and I think there is a lot of respect for it and also around you. On the 16th uh, uh, through the 19th, I feel you know you have come to some kind of, not necessarily mediation, but some kind of mutual agreement uh, where both sides are being seen and met. Like I said, we had that one Mercury was opposing their Uranus and now the Sun is again here on the 19th. So I feel the balance has arrived to, which is important to you Libra because balance is always your key, right? And so you can let go now uh, of it. I feel everything is back to where it needs to be. I feel you're finding your flow and boy are you because wow, here we have on the 24th, uh, this Mercury, your way of thinking, right, uh, is beautifully aligned here to Neptune. And when we see that, that means that your your flow of thoughts are just in a, such a beautiful state, in a very heightened, idealistic state of mind, very spiritual, also very creative. And so you're expressing yourself and what it is, is important to you, is all coming out. You can have beautiful communications here with uh, those that you love on this day. It's like you're not holding anything back and it, it's a great time also to write. For those of you who love to write, you can get a lot of beautiful thoughts down on paper. Now on the 24th, we have our annual meeting between the Sun and Jupiter. Now the Sun being you and Jupiter is, you know, expansive, it is generous, it's the abundance in our chart. When they come together, they only meet once a year and uh, being kissed by Jupiter, uh, and in your second, no, and in your first house, I'm sorry, uh, is such a joy because what it's doing is it's energizing you. It's giving you the green light to go ahead with your project, to go ahead with what you have now been working towards, the what you've been trying to find a new foundation for yourself. Jupiter is going to send you off here with wind under your wings. And of course, until next year, it will take place, but not in your first house. This won't take place for another 12 years. Next year, it will be in your second house for money and income. But right now, it's like Jupiter is sending you off to go believe in yourself, to dream and dream big, knowing that the sky is the limit, Libra. So don't hold back by any means, right? Jupiter is all about trust and faith, and this is what he or she will be breathing into you and your being to take that leap of faith in yourself, right? And um, there's just one more little thing here as we end off the month, and this is now Venus 
which is in your first house, by the way, uh, squaring off on Pluto, so there might be a money situation that you're be you're going to be looking at, and uh, probably negotiating. It might have to do with uh, perhaps purchase of something uh, material to your home, and whether you're wanting to go with it or not. So that's up to you to decide when you come to that uh, date. So that's the twenty seventh. And, uh, you know, whenever we have squares like that, we don't have to rush. If we're, Whenever in doubt, I always say that, then just wait. Give it a couple of days, and you can see how things will turn around there for you. So, Libra, enjoy your birthday month. I wish you the very, very best from uh, here, and I will see you in November. Thank you for following, thank you for watching, and thank you for sharing. Bye now.